Blake Lichtenberg led St. John's to victory on the final play last week. Looking to keep the Titans unbeaten against Perrysburg. Titans strip Connor Walnzak. Lichtenberg looking to Braden DeGroff. Hangs on just long enough. 22-yarder. St. John's with the early 7-0 lead. Move to the third quarter. Tied at 7. TJ Tackett, the quarterback. Surge of speed Bam. on the keeper. 58 yards. Deuces. Jackets in the lead. Point after would be blocked. Would that Ooh. become a factor? Special teams. Jackets leading 20 to 7, but you can't count out St. John's. Five and change to play Lichtenberg. He's going to keep it. Gets Good into the run. end zone. A one possession game. And Lichtenberg is just getting started. Final minute. Down six. Fourth and 12. Lichtenberg converts. <laughs> Hitting the Groff, so he keeps the drive alive. 20 seconds to go now. St. John's, could they do it again? Back-to-back -back weeks. Mm. Maddie Swift gets the feed in. St. John's with the touchdown. They go ahead. Ethan Fulkerson with the PAT. They get a pick six late. 27-20, your final. A heart stopper as the Titans remain undefeated. I think they're suddenly trying to kill me. That's exactly what they're doing. They're, they're just, they're doing it in a sneaky way. No, our kids are great. I, I just, I can't say enough about how they just fight. I mean, they're a scrappy, scrappy group. We're a young group. I mean, our, we got sophomores starting on our offensive line. We got a junior quarterback with a second start. Uh, once again, our defense at the end just played lights out. I, you know, I'm just fortunate. I'm not really trying to think about it. I'm just trying to play, play my own game. My guys are playing their game, running their routes to get in the ball. That's about it. Dare I say it? Yes. Mason Lowry and Mark Gibson will always remember the Titans. Well, you know, I've got to say I'm feeling a little bit like Blake Lichtenberg myself right now in that I don't quite know what to say either to sum that up. Although, I'm not sure anybody has had a better start to their varsity football career than him. You would be hard-pressed to find it for sure. And we're seeing him grow up right before us, and it's been a lot of fun. It's pretty remarkable, too, when you think about it, because this is a St. John's offense that is, for all intents and purposes, brand new from last year. They graduated almost the entire offensive line. They lose a great quarterback in Blake's older brother, Brady, of course. They lose Carson Toth at running back, all the wide receivers. But they've got a lot of guts and a tremendous quarterback, and those two things can paper over a lot of cracks. Absolutely, and they're playing to the finish. They know that when they have the trigger man back there like they do, they're never out of a game. It's a real shame for Perrysburg. They played such a good game last week. They were very, very good tonight for the most part, but they did have some special teams issues, and in the end, it was a blocked extra point that kept them from taking this game to overtime. Sometimes it doesn't matter when it happens. The fact that it happened can come back to haunt you, and it did tonight. So special teams-wise, that has been their downfall a little bit, and uh, they're going to have to improve on that because we know they can run the ball. We know they have a solid defense. Special teams has to come through for him. Blake Lichtenberg might be getting a little bit tired of his own feats of daring do with two late touchdowns the last two weeks to send the Titans 2-0 into conference play. He might be getting sick of it. Worse you're not.